Good morning, people. Like I said, I was gonna do, I was gonna start doing more of my exercises with, be more consistent about what I'm saying I'm gonna do. Um, it's Wednesday today. I should have did this video yesterday, but the heat's been, I've been getting up, I have to get up earlier to beat the heat. So, what we're gonna do today is just do nothing but legs, okay? And you're gonna get a better angle of the, the Cormax now. You're gonna see how it works. This is the Pilates ring, okay? And resistant band, okay? So this is what, sorry about the video that I did the other night, but um, you couldn't see it in the video. I didn't know that until after the fact of it all. So basically, you set this up for diff different resistance, okay? So right now, we're going to go ahead and just do this. So basically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to go ahead and keep our foot close to this side for right now. This is a little bit early for me, but I'm going to go ahead and keep this going, okay? We're going to go ahead and do another set of 10 on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. And like I said, you could adjust up to different resistance, but we're going to keep it at the medium one, okay? Just so I could build up to that level. Move this to the side for right now. We're gonna go and take up um, the knee, the knee brace, okay? And what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna use the Pilates ring. So I hope, hopefully, this is a better angle and show you what I can do with this, okay? Like I said in the video before, you want to make sure you plant your, your affected leg down really good. Put a lot more pressure on it. That way your foot doesn't slide out. Because it's going to have a tendency to want to slide out to, to make it more easier on you. And the whole objective here is just to pinch it. It's like having the ball between your leg, the softball. So one, two... And you want to step this up a little by little. This resistance band, I don't know how many pounds of pressure it got. But I can't bottom it out, even with my good side. I'm not sure if I put downforce on it, I could. But what I was showing you guys the other day 
but we're not going to work on ours, but I just want to show you what I was doing the other day on my video I did the other night, I'm sorry. So what I did right here, to get the elbow locked out, we're going to stick with the, arm, the legs though. But I just want to show you what I was doing to get that arm locked out. Get the elbows locked. What you want to do is just put, to get that stiffness in your, your arm. Because you know when you, your plasticity kicks in when you're, um, when you're walking and stuff. When you're locking your elbow and you push this, it's going to get you more exercise to do that. To unlock that, hopefully. Okay, let's go ahead and go and do some more on some more Pilates ring thing. Make sure your legs planted pretty good. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I know I said I'm going to do 10, but 15 ain't going to hurt. A little bit more is never going to hurt. Well, what we're going to do right now, we're going to use a resistant band now. We're going to put it between our legs. Hopefully. Basically, the objective here on this one is to just have me train a little bit above the knee. What we're going to do is sit and stands, okay? And the resistant bands is just going to keep us from like letting our legs close all the way and have a like have some control over what you could do, okay? Hopefully. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I am hanging on. I just want to be safe, okay? Nine. Ten. Okay. It's probably not even eight o'clock yet, or maybe it is a little bit about eight o'clock. But anyways, it's already starting to get warm. I'm going to start just sticking to the routines, okay? I'm not going to be bouncing all over the place. I do like off the wall, and we'll do that one a separate day. But right now, we're just going to stick to the legs. And the resistant band is going to have you to have control over your leg. But I am going to loosen my hand up just a little bit because it's cramping up pretty bad. So if you guys can, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Leave Hit the bell button just so that way you guys can be alerted when I get new videos out because I'm going to start being more consistent about what I do here. And like I say, don't ever give up on doing your on your workouts. Just try to just do something every day, a couple of times a day, the more the merrier. Okay, one more set, okay? One. Sorry, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now the resistant band comes off.
Let's get, we're gonna see how this is gonna work out, but I think doing more more isolated workouts is gonna be better for everybody. That way, if you're looking to do legs, we're only gonna do legs. If we're gonna do shoulder and upper left hand or left, the affected side, then that's what we're gonna do. Go ahead and put the knee brace back on. I am having a little bit of difficulties today. It's early. I didn't do very much stretching this morning. I just kind of got all my stuff out here so I could do the workouts. But um, I'm gonna try to step it up more, okay, people? Just give me some, give me patience. Um, I think I'm doing a little bit more than I probably should do for myself, but you know what I mean? You gotta get out of that comfort zone. Because if you're not getting out of the comfort zone, how do you know you're gonna go to the next step until you try? But you gotta do it safely. So you always want to, every day, like I said, you wanna always go one more, just do one more extra exercise. Show that you're making progress, okay? So if we're doing all legs and stuff, let's go ahead and do some toe touches right now too. That's going to help build up the hamstrings. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I thank you guys for taking the time to watch my videos. And I thank you guys for just being there. Give me positive feedback. I need it. I need it. I'm going to try to step it up and do, like I said, different things and try to be more consistent about my workouts. I know, I'm sorry, I'm going to apologize right now for all the times I just do videos just that makes me happy, but I do whatever I try to do that makes me get more flexible and stuff like that, but I was talking to my physical therapist and she was telling me that I start doing better routines and I know better than to do better routines, like just stick with legs or stick with arms, stick with shoulders shoulder back stick to certain muscle groups or certain body parts but like I say when I do it I get up in the morning I just want to do what makes me feel good and you guys probably think I'm just all over the place and sometimes I am I don't know if that's part of being a stroker that's just part of my whole personality but let's just go ahead and do one more we're going to finish off by doing one more toe touching okay hands together in frame position Thank you, Jesus, for watching after me and my family. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, if you guys have suggestions on what other ones you guys want to see me do, but today we're going to end it with just doing the legs, okay? We did the, the core max with the leg thing, you guys saw that now, and then we did the, the Pilates ring, and then, and then we did the sit and stands. Just remember, everything I show you guys what to do, um, you guys do it at your own risk. Make sure you always have your water, your phone, or somebody around you to assist you. If you can't do it comfortably, don't do it. Do everything off the chair. If you can't do it, do the marching like on the chair sitting down. If you don't have Cormax, just do the same thing. With, but when you can, try to get something. Like I say, always improvise. If you don't have a stress ball, get a water bottle. If you don't have a broomstick, use a cane. 
improvise. I'm going to try to be more persistent, consistent about doing what I said I'm going to do, okay? Thank you guys and have a great day, okay? Hope this helps out a little bit better.